Welcome to Chicago Grit. This is day one. We're at West Dundee River Challenge, and uh, I know it's a little overexposed at the beginning. Just got the new Insta360 X4 camera, um, so we've got 360 footage here, which is super exciting. But, um, yeah, trying to get everything tuned in, and I think uh, the stabilization's a little bit off, too, but we'll, but we'll get going. Uh, day one at Chicago Grit. This has a big hill in it, um, and I started at the back as per usual, getting my warm up in kind of late, and I've got to move up for the first lap or so. The top few corners up here are uh, pretty technical. Uh, there's like a little box up at the top of the hill, and then a pretty fast downhill into a tight last corner. But just gonna work my way up throughout the race. There are plenty of hitters here. Um, the Mexican team that was at Intelligencia with uh, Ulysses Castillo. We've got Work Hard, Be Humble. Um, I think Juan Arango is here. Possibly. Uh, yeah. And um, yeah, plenty of other guys. VFR is here. ABC, Toronto Hustle. Just Hustle. Uh, Rainstorm got on the left. Fergus Arthur. Uh, Marcus Mendez. And I have finally gotten to the front. Um, so that means it's it's time for me to send a little attack. Get a little bit of a gap, but Mido Q, one of the biggest teams here, the probably the biggest team here, um, they were pretty quick to respond to anything that was not them attacking, so that'll be a pretty recurring theme. They're on my wheel within like two corners of the top up here. And they would lock down almost everything because they had the numbers to do so, which was pretty good on them. So once they caught me, I sat up a little bit and then one of their other guys, James here, sent it right over the top with uh, this Mexican team. Um, and now Mido Q has one, two, three guys on the front. Um, you'll see they'll just start blocking, which is a valid move, but kind of frustrating for everybody else behind. So a little bit later here and there's a small group off the front. You can see them uh, pretty much the biggest breakaway of the race and I tried to get around and attack into it they had I think Josh Burnett in there who raced pretty hard at uh, Indy Crit and uh, I think probably Mendez was in there Rainstorm had a guy in there um, most of the teams were represented up front Lucas Burgoyne was in there for Outlaws and so uh, Miami Blazers guy was pretty much the only guy willing to uh, to send it back they I think this break stuck for a good few laps. Everybody thought it was going to go. Um, but, uh, yeah, they were they were held on a pretty tight leash. There was ABC that um, kept getting to the front, pulling them back in. Eventually, uh, it all kind of came back together with, uh, I don't know, probably halfway through the race. And so we were all back together. And, um, yeah, stuff is just starting to break apart. People... We're cracking pretty hard in this race. I know I was feeling it pretty bad. Um, and a little bit later on, you can tell, like, just gaps are, are opening. You'd hear uh, Brad Soner, the announcer, every time through. He would just say, like, oh, uh, field split again. And you're like, oh, man, glad I'm on the right side of that field split. You see the Mido guys pulling off. They were, yeah, racing super hard, um, super positive with their teammates. And there you can see a split off the front. And Rainstorm has a guy up there, uh, I think Kyle, there on the front. He's just not going to pull. And, uh, yeah, I, I've got to come around him and try to get up to that um, the best I can. So, hit it a little bit hard, but uh, they were directly onto my wheel. So, had no chance of getting up to that. This is actually the big breakaway, and, and that was my last shot at trying to get across to it. Um, and Rainstorm got... Fergus up there so they were pretty set they might have even had two guys up there but it was a huge breakaway so I think it was uh yeah pretty hard for them to keep the speed up especially yeah with ABC on the front back here and uh I think Luke Fetzer who's right in front of me actually tried to uh pull it back pretty well too so they were they were kept on a tight leash and it eventually all came back together after those few attacks, I just kind of had to float back into the field and recover as much as you can on this course for a while. 
eventually, uh, yeah, this is where the breakaway comes back. You can see Burgoyne there, and, and they're all kind of sitting up. Him and the Mido Q guy bumped a little bit, but now now it's all back together. Trying to hustle on the inside of me uh, right there, and uh, yeah, we're just going to keep racing. I floated back a little bit. Um, what's behind, you can see Wolfgang right there moving on the inside on the right, moving up pretty well. But, yeah, I was just trying to move up when it was free and then sag this climb the best I could. This climb would really take it out of you if you tried to move up on it often. So was doing my best to uh, save as much energy relative to the field on it as I could. So late in the race here, and I wanted to stay up towards the front. These last, like, five laps, I was really trying to stay up towards the front. You can see uh, Wolfgang had a little check up there. Um, and, and I actually had to hit brakes pretty hard. Tom Chester took the inside of that corner, which was a pretty ballsy line. He was racing pretty hard all night. And, yeah, we're settling in to the end of this race. Josh Burnett got off the front. I think uh, James, his teammate, was up there with him as well and pulled really hard for a few laps. James is the New Zealand national champion. And uh, Marcos Mendez made it up there with him as well. You can see James right in front of me, um, who had just gotten pulled back into the field. And so there was a group of two off the front, Marcos and uh, Josh Burnett, super strong guys. And they actually uh, would hold that to the end uh, for the sprint. Marcos Mendez taking the win on the first night. But for these last few, the field was getting really close. I think it was like a 10 second gap. So we thought we were going to we thought we were going to catch him. ABC was on the front pretty hard trying to pull stuff back and I'm just yeah chopping corners um in the end here trying to move up position the best I possibly can um and and kind of stay at the front Mido Q had pretty strong presence at the front and like somebody would pull on the front and then Mido Q would just like pull through and and set like a false tempo uh for their leader Josh to stay up on the front he'll likely be a, a big contender for the rest of the race uh like the rest of the 10 days so we'll have to look out for him in uh in moves He's, he seems to like to not wait for the sprint i'm going to move up on the right here the best i can or actually just defend my line um this downhill you could either move up or uh sometimes we were just going way too fast to move up last few corners here i believe and yeah abc chopping the inside pretty well i'm on i'm james wheel and uh, the mighty Q guys all had to check up Chester on the outside, little gap opened up, and I had to uh, pull it in um, for the last little finish here. Uh, Sam Morris right in front of me, just sprinted up the hill at the end, and uh, yeah, didn't get past. I think I ended up getting 12th, and uh, yeah, Marcos Mendes with the win. Thanks for watching. See ya.